welcome to the uh, Selectmen's meeting of Tuesday, May 8th, 2018. If you would all like to rise and join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like a motion to entertain uh, the approved and approved the following warrants. Uh, expense warrant from 6-30-17. Oh, that's going to be 18. She must have a little. Yeah. No, no. No, I it's 17. What might happen is it was 17. It was, there was, yeah, because it wouldn't be. It would be oh, six thirty. It was. She probably found it during the yeah, reconciling yeah. of uh, six thirty seventeen for nine hundred and seventy four dollars and twenty one cents, and then an adjusted one for a minus thirty one dollars, and that was for four nine eighteen, and then another expense warrant from four twenty five eighteen for one hundred sixty thousand six hundred dollars, a proven expense warrant for five one eighteen for the school for $273,468. Approve an expense warrant for 5118 for $114,313.47. An expense warrant for 5818 for $8,682.67. You got that motion. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Then I would like to acknowledge and uh, have a, have a motion for uh, minutes and reports from other departments. ZBA meeting for 10 10 17, 11 8 17, 12 19 17. And that rec should be 18. Oh, 18? No, for the rec, the next one. Okay. And the recreation committee meeting for 4 5 18, emergency squad April 2018. You have that motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Then we have announcements. Tyler Wolin, district aide to Senator Ann Gobi, will hold office hours from 2 to 3 p.m. Wednesday, April 16th at the town hall. All are welcome. Are there any more announcements from anyone? All right. So we'll start tonight with reorganizing the board. And with that, I would re make a recommendation that we, until, at least through town meeting, don't change anything. Beth and I may want to discuss whether or not we want to swap roles as far as my newly elected position uh, as to reverting back to the clerk, uh, but that would be the only suggestion I would make, especially with all the work that you've been doing with the finance team. Okay. Any discussion on that? How would you like to be a vice chair? What's that? How would you like to be the vice chairman? We can do that, or we could just wait until after town meeting. Yeah, if we want to wait till after town meeting. I think I don't, mind, I don't mind delaying until after town meeting to have a full discussion about. Yeah, about the, where we we've just we've just got uh, each of our plates yeah. have a bunch of stuff that I just would not want to change mm -hmm. direction. Okay. And I think I think after town meeting, back to uh, just making sure we have clear, clear lines of communication mm -hmm. with the different departments. Okay. That we would just kind of work that after town meeting. Okay. But but again, Linda, you've been doing been living here <laughs> no. so anyway yeah, we, appreci we appreciate it thank you very much okay all in favor uh, oh, I, I, I okay. make the motion that we, the motion. we we stand as is um, I'll uh, I'll second it for discussion and then I'd like to make the amendment to revisit it after town meeting okay okay Any discussion so, no. Oh, no discussion. All in favor? Aye. Yeah. Aye. 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 Yeah. All right. Our first uh, C CIPC status report from Mr. Eaton. And if Mr. O'Connor would like to join them also, they can have to take it. Thank you. Awesome. You have the report in front of you. Uh, and the five-year plan. Um, obviously, we're not going to go over the entire uh, eight or nine pages that are here, but I, I just want to say that this is a culmination of uh, a group of people that I've been very 
pleased to work with. They're very participatory, they're very objective, they're capable, uh, and they put a lot of work into this uh, effort. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a lot of support from the uh, department heads, and so um, we're, we're pleased with this. In addition to the five-year plan that you have, we'll get, we'll get to that in a minute, uh, the committee has made uh, a lot of recommendations on uh, financial policies and procedures as they relate to capital planning. We had a meeting with our financial advisor, with the treasurer, with Keith Arsenault. Uh, they have made recommendations. Obviously, these are recommendations. I think we need further consensus from the financial team. We need further consensus from the accountant, uh, the advisory committee, and others, and you people about establishing some strong financial standards for the town. We've been pretty fortunate. The town's been pretty lucky to be moving along, but we really need, as we go forward, uh, to have some financial benchmarks and standards. So we'll be working on that next year. Uh, we have uh, also made recommendations on some special purpose funds. We've made recommendations on revenues and expense projections. They're all in there. We've also made a recommendation on changing the fleet repair and replacement account that we'd like to address tonight as well. Uh, we've reviewed this report with the advisory committee, uh, so we have been working with them as well. Uh, before we get into the five-year plan, if we could turn to that fleet repair and replacement account. There was some misunderstanding on how that was supposed to be operated in the past, and uh, that's on page five, I think it is. Yes. And the intent was, back when we put that together, was that was supposed to be emergency for used equipment. That's what the plan was. But somehow, through the fault of somebody, probably the Capital Improvement Planning Committee, it didn't get published that way. And so we got into a little bit of a fix where people were buying vehicles mm -hmm. out of that account. But essentially it was for, uh, you know, if Herb had an opportunity to buy a, a, a street sweeper for 10000 that ordinarily cost 80000 he was going to buy it next year, he could, we could go to that fleet account. So we we reworded that, and I think we, I don't know if we need to go to put that on uh, as an article, or can you guys, I, I don't know how, uh, what what the protocol is to approve that. I don't Madam Chair, may I give well, a recommendation on that? Sure. Um, I, I'm thinking what we just need to do is, in essence, write a specific policy for the financial handbook mm -hmm. that's that's wrapped around the fleet repair replacement account and to reflect the recommendations of the CIPC in, in that format. Mm -hmm. Code of mine. Yeah. yeah. So we could write the separate policy and then include it as, as once that document gets formalized. Um, and then just we have to approve it at a meeting. Correct. Yeah. That would be the I, I wonder if the, fleet re the name of the account um, might uh, not communicate what the intent is. Uh, and so uh, if, if you should choose to agree with us to change the name, what procedure would it require? I think actually what we would wind up having to do is um, it would be handled by the accountant. Yeah. And she would open up a new line item number and could uh, do a, a internal transfer of funds from whatever's remaining in that account. I don't think that because constitutionally, for all intents and purposes, it's any different than uh, we might have to wait for the, a follow-on town meeting to actually rename it, unless we rename it now um, for the operational budget and for whichever more R and we do. So if we determine that it needs a name change, we could do that name change. Day of the town meeting, we would vote over the funds from the previous to the to the newly designated account, and, and we could actually reconcile that at this town meeting if we wanted to get it on as an article now, or we could wait until the fall. I'll wait till the fall. That would give us some time yeah, to kind of draft the, the documentation around it yeah. and, and the convention mm -hmm. and, and give the accountant some time to tell us the, 
exact procedure that you need to follow for that. Is there anything you want us to do in the interim now, or is it in your court here and you guys? Uh, What's your recommended, I guess, renaming or naming format for it to make it more intuitively obvious? Okay, so used equipment and emergency repair account is what you're recommending. The used equipment. So, and I think one of the one of the uh, I think the only concern that I have is that we would have to really be very specific in our funding mechanism if, if making this change because a lot of the repairs that have been funded out of that account is because the department heads are generally fairly conservative when it comes to how much money they're going to need for a vehicle. So they'll say, if they know it's a $46,000 vehicle, we'll put a warrant article of 50 on there to ensure that if there's any unforeseen expenses in the equipment that, that it'll be covered. And a number of the repairs have been funded from that, call it overage, that's in that account. So if we do restrict it and if we do rename it that way, we're going to have to also be very more specific in how we um, move the funds into there, I guess is the best way to put it. Yeah. So <clears throat> my thought, just because you're talking about the account and, and changing the line and whatnot, yeah. I, I would think that if, if we could have uh, an edit of, for uh, inclusion in the financial policy yeah. and have it ahead of time, whether we could do it between now and town meeting, I think that's rushed. Yeah, but, exactly. but I think the fall, fall town meeting, if you guys could help us with some language so that it's abundantly clear when you get to that line, you trip over a procedure that says thus and so. Yeah. Yeah, I okay. think that we could consult with you uh, through Beth, let's say, who's sure. the liaison, or whoever's going to be the liaison to say, uh, you know, how would you put money in there? So there is a balance right. for emergencies, yeah. but there is also a designated amount of money for a special purpose, like buying a piece of equipment that has been approved in the capital. So yeah. would it, So it will be for used or emergencies. It wouldn't be to purchase a new vehicle. Right. A new vehicle would be a separate article altogether. Yes. Yeah, right. Does that, 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 that sound then, right to you? I mean, intuitively, without committing oh, yourself yes, to I, it, but that's, it, yeah. you're in line. Yeah, the, the, the only challenge from us, from an administrative standpoint, is it would make a little bit more work for Carrie at each annual town meeting because any of those residual amounts that were voted specific to a new vehicle purchase mm -hmm. would then have to be um, by town meeting vote moved somewhere. Um, oh, it's just she puts, I'm pretty sure that she puts them yeah. on as a line item when she puts up her monthly reports. That's not what I'm talking about, though. So every, anything that's if it's if it's moved by by vote at the town meeting as one of the separate warrant articles, yeah, then like say there's it. say there's like three thousand dollars left from a cruiser purchase, mm -hmm. a truck, a truck, a used truck. Uh, well, no, 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 no actually, no. no I'm talking about I'm talking new. about the new. So yeah. if we yeah. if we segregate this account, the challenge is is if we say we vote fifty thousand dollars for a new police cruiser. And there's four thousand dollars left. That money cannot be used if it, if we're going to vote the new vehicles that way and not just transfer the money into this account. Okay. And that four thousand dollars until the next town meeting is locked up yeah. until we vote it. Yeah, she just have to approve it. Yeah, vote to uh, put it in this new account that we're making. That would be and one. We, yeah. And that would be one option for funding yeah. it. That would be one. Yeah. That would be one option. I, for I don't want to jump in. I'm just yeah. back to. We have line, item, uh, line items here on this doc, document that are recommending, r recommending new new equipment. Right. And so the question then comes: Is does the four thousand dollars go back into the account that's funding this line, or does it go into the uh, emergency fund? Correct. And it, and it wouldn't be able to be moved if we if we go with this and we segregate the new vehicle from the used vehicle purchase accounts. It would put up, in essence, a firewall to where, if there was residual left from a new purchase, it wouldn't necessarily be accessible <coughs> until the next town meeting mm -hmm. for any used vehicle or repair activity. Um, versus the way that it had currently been managed, that four thousand dollars that was say left over from a cruiser, if you then blew the transmission on something in one of the other departments, regardless of whether you had consciously funded for the repairs or not. Mm -hmm. 
you you would have that money available to go ahead and handle the repairs. Okay. Yep. So so we do tie our hands by segregating it and, and some people would say it's in a good way, it's more transparency, it's more accountability. That's the plus side of it. The minus side of it is that it, it actually in some ways reduces some of the flexibility. Flip side of it is is that if we if we fund it specifically knowing that we might try to do some use purchases and say instead of a forty five thousand dollar cruiser we, we fund it we funded an extra twenty five thousand for Mm -hmm. vehicle opportunities, mm -hmm. say something came up and there was a two-year-old cruiser or one-year-old cruiser that came up on the open market that, that cut our expenses for $10,000, and I think if I understand what these gentlemen are saying, um, recommending, is that if um, an opportunity came up to purchase something that was slotted as new in the capital plans, say in the year or the following year, and in our judgment it was a better economic choice for the town to go ahead and buy it used now where the intent is to take this to a public hearing and town meeting and let people mm -hmm. know what the capital plan is at least from a theoretical standpoint it gives us some basis to advance purchase used if we see the opportunity to save the town money depending on, on what level of funding we have in the account so it's just the, the one piece of it is, is that if, if we're going to do that, we're going to have to fund it more consciously and understand that any residual from the new vehicle purchases is not going to be available to right. it until right. the next town meeting. Makes so. sense. So, okay. So we, we, excuse me, we'll still be participatory in that, but, uh, but we'll, we'll probably have to come up with some number that we should initially fund, fund it with. And I have no idea how much is in there now. But, uh. Did we get that from Carrie today? Remember we asked her? Just, I didn't get anything. She's here, though. I didn't go ask yeah, her. because I asked her this morning what the amount was in uh, that account. Okay. All right. Do you want to yeah. go over maybe? Ask her, ask her how much is the amount account? that's left in the fleet repair account. So you don't want the whole expense report, you just want to put it Yeah, yeah. She has <coughs> Do you want me to see if I've met the last expense report? Hmm. Is that what happened? Would it be there? Yeah, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. but so, so the idea would be if you guys put some language together. Yeah. And, I, and I, we'll, once we get through town meeting and the financial stuff that we're working on now, I, it is our intent, my intent, to go back to rewriting that or not rewriting, but updating the financial policy. We got a, a good two thirds of the way through the policy, and then we got way late. So we need to slide back and get. get we it. won't do it in a vacuum either. We'll be talking to other people as we go along. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, a, a couple of things I mentioned earlier that we have come up with some recommendations on financial policies and procedures, but again, we did that. Uh, talking to our financial advisor and Keith Arsenault and Lonnie at the time. Um, we Do we have the blessing to continue to put recommendations forward on financial policies and procedures and special funds? Well, yeah. Okay. So we'll, we don't, I don't have any problem with that at all. Okay. Okay. But again, you guys will make this, we'll, we'll just bring our recommendations forward to you. Right. Yeah. And primarily we just need to work with with Keith to get some of this, the verbiage written up and, and get his body probably. Well, and, and that, we stopped the edit at, of the financial policy at the treasurer's because of the upset yep. at the time. Mm -hmm. And so we stopped at that point. So it's, it's if we can kind of back up to anything that Carrie's now learned, yep. we felt we take care of that. And then now we now move forward into the treasurer's section and especially with these recommendations. Yep. It's, okay. It's good timing. All right. Should we, so uh, any, is there anything any else you want to go over? Any other changes that you've made in this that you want to make us aware of? Uh, not in this cover sheet. No. No, in, but this, it, in the whole package. Uh, this whole, this whole uh, the eight pages or whatever? Yes. No, not at this point. You know, it, as you go forward, you'll see we have some goals we set for ourselves and so forth uh, for next year. I'd be interested to read it. So I know, we had, I know we had dis I know we had discussed at um, the last meeting that that we had potentially doing a public hearing before town meeting. Do you want to um, still do that? Let, let's let's defer that till we go because there's been some new 
new changes here because this five-year plan is probably mm, there may be some changes to it. Okay. Uh, I just I think on the, the bigger uh, procedural question that you're raising in part is um, this plan was current up until about a week ago. Right. Now we've received a bunch of new requests from the, the department heads, mm -hmm. which we haven't reviewed and wouldn't really have time to review before we, in any thorough way, especially if the cash is not certified. Well, we're hoping. I was on a conference call with Carrie and, uh, and Justin Cole, who she hired. He's uh, from an auditing firm. And there, he says, hopefully, we should have free cash for town meeting. Because all we're waiting for, you know, is to have the balance sheet and Schedule A and all that sent in. Yeah, and, and we should be fine. Yeah, she's down to the last, I think, I know, she's page down to, yeah. of, of discrepancies between yeah. the, the yeah, two financial departments. But the challenge we have, Linda, as our role and our responsibility, we don't want to rush into it. And if you've got, like, literally days to make decision, oh, that's yeah. going to be tough. No. Uh, well, I wouldn't want you to rush into it. Either. Well, I mean, you're right. We don't want to rush into it. You don't want to rush into it. And we want to spend. We want to have good. If we're going to give you information and we want to vet it mm -hmm. properly, yeah. so you can make good decisions, mm -hmm. we want to make sure we've analyzed mm -hmm. these uh, capital plans yeah. uh, effectively. Uh, so that's going to be the challenge. So, would you feel comfortable doing uh, what you did? At the last uh, a year ago at the annual town deferring any but the essential articles to a fall special town meeting that we would actually yeah. be able to hold. Yes. Uh, but, uh, yeah. so I that, think that's a good That would idea. give us the summer, give the advisory mm -hmm. committee, the board of selectmen, really a chance to look at these in a bigger, a bigger timeline, and that we would not hold a public hearing because the plan really wouldn't be ready for a public hearing. We wouldn't have had time to analyze the, the, the various proposals. And I don't know if some of those are in there, some of the ones that you have received, because I know Senator Goldie's office, remember? Total she, confusion. Yeah, total confusion. Ah. They thought that there was going to be some money available for the towns, and everybody put in all their big wish lists, as we want to call them, and the money wasn't there. It was just, I think, gathering information on what we needed, so those are all like in a file, so it's we can't use, I think, in, the different departments were confused about that. Now that you tend to think that when you get a, if we got a request like that, mm -hmm. it'd probably be a good idea to forward it to right. the Capital Planning mm -hmm. Committee and charge us with responding, yeah. proposing things to you as part of the Capital Plan. Nothing should go out to her that isn't part of yeah. the Capital Plan. Oh, I, yeah. No, I, I think that's I, a good idea. I, it should go to you also. I do have one recommendation, though, because we, we did kick the can down the road a year last year because of the lack of free cash certification. I'd say the items that are currently on that we had already discussed that have already been on a on an annual town meeting warrant once, um, I think have been pretty thoroughly vetted from a standpoint of re review for validity by the Capital Improvement Committee. Many of them actually had support last year from the advisory committee. They've already gotten our support once to get onto a warrant. I'm kind of inclined, and it's something that we, we talked about during the meeting, is that I think there's a certain amount of risk to not doing any, in particular if we have free cash certified. So I think from a standpoint of drafting the warrant, what I'd like to do is give priority to the items that were already discussed, were already vetted, and what already appear on the draft of the capital plan. Okay. With the, with the exception that some of those have been pulled back. Correct. Correct. So, so they wouldn't be put yeah. on, but we only just learned that. So we, yeah. as far as we knew, they were a priority. Uh, understood. Okay, and if they've been pulled back, they've been pulled back. But I think for the ones that have, I hate to put this way, for the ones that have stuck, I, I don't think we're doing the town a service by kicking the can down the road on those particular items. And... Is there, is, is there a, a where, where could we get that list from just last year's? Uh, we could, we could just pull last year's warrant, I mean, for all intents and purposes, or, or really anything that was reviewed and then sitting here in the FY 
Well, it's feet. interesting. Oh. One, one, one department didn't put that on this plan because they said, oh, well, it was approved last year, so I didn't think we had to put it on this year's plan. Okay. So, so, so we, we, haven't got a, we haven't got a refined number. I mean, we can get it from well, I know a lot of people had, um, <clears throat> one day I remember when I was up here in the office, we had quite a few calls. They didn't think that they had to put them back on. And I said, yes, they're not going to go on automatically. They said, you have to resubmit them. So they wanted to know if it had to be on the special. I said, no, it had to go on the annual. Okay. So, so I think there was some confusion there, and that's why I think we need to make a good faith effort at at least identifying those things that, that ought to be on there, provided that we have certified free cash, and to draft the warrant, you know, presuming that we can pursue things that have been on the radar, at least specifically for a while, or that have been deep critical. We have a capital planning committee meeting tomorrow, and what we could try to do is is look at what what was uh, previously submitted. I think that's a reasonable person. Yeah. Yeah, I'm only one person, but I I'd be supportive of that right. uh, approach. Yeah, because yeah. uh, because that way we can kind of just whittle it away in in chunks that are manageable. Right. Okay, we have a, a number. We have eighty nine thousand. Five dollars and seventy-six cents left in the fleet in that account, wow. and it rolls over every year. So that's that's the seed. Now. That's a lot of money. That's yeah. a good, good amount of money, because I know with one article that is on this year, I'm wondering if we could use it for it. Seeing that uh, we can talk about that after we go through the articles. Yes. I'll mention that. Yeah, but yeah. in principle, until you change the guidelines, nice. you can do yeah, what can, you did before yeah. with. Mm -hmm. Page. Would you are you gentlemen gonna sit here uh, stay until we get to the articles for town meeting? That's gonna come up. Because there's not really too much everything well, else. I, I'm sorry, what did you say, Linda? Will you uh, be here when we review all the articles for the annual? But are you reviewing everything that you've got? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, we're gonna review and decide which ones we want to put on, on onto the warrant for the annual town meeting. Are you asking us if yeah, we if you if you were well, going to see, stay with that? We don't have authority of the committee to do concur. that. Oh, yeah. um, right. so, uh, uh, there are three of us here, um, so I don't for know information. I mean, yeah. I, just for information's sake, so that you know, you know, basically what, what what's going to go on. Either that, or I, what I can do is I can take notes against okay. this copy of the capital plan. And then if there's anything that in, in reading through it that we think is critical enough to be considered at tomorrow's meeting, what we can do is, is provide some, some requests of y'all to, to look at it, yeah. okay. to endorse or, or, or not. No, Why don't we do it that way? And, yeah. and I apologize that I, that's the, it's the one I can't make it, but uh, I will make sure that you get copies of my notes. Okay. So. So did you want to go over anything? Yeah, well, it just uh, it, it might be just the categories, Linda, might be uh, appropriate. We've, we've kind of broken down uh, the, the capital projects. The first one, A, there is pay-as-you-go project. We call them pay-as-you-go projects. They're under $100,000 or last three years or less. And that's kind of a category. And. Uh, and then we've down on the bottom of the page there, we've totaled them out, and we've said what percentage of the operating budget it is. And again, we're going to we've got some recommendations on what guidelines that they should be. Uh, then we have on B on page three is major capital projects that <clears throat> cost more than a hundred thousand. Typically, are uh, debt. Uh, debt projects and uh, again there's some totals but again these numbers are all academic because uh, they're probably going to change so uh, we have that and then we have uh, the last category is on the last page there is special purpose funds and we've kind of broken that out so we have different categories so you can look at capital expenditures under these various categories, which make it cl much clearer than trying to bunch them all together. But again, until we uh, 
Uh, each have each category has minimums and maximums as a percentage of the operating budget, and that's a policy that um, Clark Rowell recommended. So, so that one general principle is that we spend it at least two percent of the operating budget, but uh, in, for each of these, for some of these categories, but not more than four percent or six percent, depending on the category. So if we see that we're spending under 2%, we know we're not keeping up with capital. If we're spending over 4%, so let's say on the page you go projects, um, well, you'd have to explain why to the voters uh, uh, and why this year might be you know, between the annual and the special. Well, we've got really two years of capital projects that we're voting, so that, that upper limit might not apply. And we would hopefully have two years of free cash to pay for them. So functionally, it's, it's still the same standard. But so that's part of the policy package is to adopt those minimums and maximums. And there's additional policy on how much debt service there should be. Um, again, at least a minimum of debt service. We're way below debt service uh, minimums right now. Uh, but we don't want to get into the same position we were six years ago where we had way too much uh, debt and that cut into our operating, our ability to Because right now, as we can see, where, where debt's concerned, we're, we're not in too bad a shape. We no. are in, Good we're, shape. we're yeah. oddly enough in bad shape, bad shape because we're not spending enough. Yeah. On uh, debt. So, yeah. you know, one on that subject, one recommendation that Keith Arsenault made to us, uh, you know that Tantasqua reimbursement exceeds the debt service. Yeah, I, yes, I saw that. He is recommending um, that we apply that overage to paying down the police station debt in the next three years more quickly. Mm -hmm. We support that idea. We have not yet presented that formally to the committee, but it made a lot of sense to the advisory committee when we presented to the advisory committee. Um, and they seem to be um, in, in support of it, but I think that would be a decision that you would make. And so we just, you might want to hear that directly from Keith, but um, I think he was planning on making it. Yeah, that I saw decision. that he had put, put together yeah. something and I was going to go in and discuss it with him, but I don't think he probably came in after I left today. Yeah. Did he come in today? No, he didn't come in today. You're, you're aware that the, the police station, yeah. the police station debt service is variable rate yeah. so as the rate's going up that's yeah. that's going to go up well, we're going we're to sign down a new bond for a new note for it this evening right for what well, if for the police station if you oh, are yeah. then that might be part of it it might be that he's applying the tentasco overpayment i don't think it is if not, if not if we would have had to have voted it last year so yeah. if we vote it this year then it would get applied this time next year when we're signing the new note so you're going to sign a new note at a fixed rate? No, no, it's oh. the oh, it's, it's just, revolving it's, annual. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, every year, okay. so every year, got it. every so, year to renew. So I think what we would, I think what we would have to do be, is is actually anything we decided that way would be for the following year. I don't, I don't, I don't think we still can this year. No, we this thing in front of us. Yeah, we've got yeah. it right here. Yeah. Well, you know, let's check with them because if we do have the opportunity to apply anything to it, they never have a, any type of restriction on prepayment on these notes. Right. Mm -hmm. So it could be applied yeah. probably through the end of the, the fiscal year. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously our, our longer range goal is to get a, a good bond rating for the town. So when we do borrow, we're borrowing at a better rate. Yeah. So. Yeah. And if we get some of these financial uh, policies and procedures in place, uh, that's going to help us with our bond rate. It's actually pretty much required to go to the bond market to have them in place. Yeah. Or yeah. so it would take us at least two years, maybe three, to get um, get everything in place. Because we have to have two clean audits mm -hmm. before we can even yeah. consider that. And then reconciliation has to be done. And, and uh, 
That'll work. I know that just before Lonnie had Lani had left, I know that she Clark. Now were you in on the same meeting? Uh, that Clark came in. Mm -hmm. Is that the same one? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And Keith was there. Yeah. So we were all. It was incredibly informative. Yes. Do you have any other questions for the committee? I don't think so. You gentlemen, yeah. all of you on the committee, you're doing a good job, and I appreciate everything Thank you. you do. Yes. It's a good group, it's a good group of people. It is, yes. Are we in agreement then that we would not do, as we're scheduled to do, a meeting next year, a hearing on this plan? Uh, I, thought, I, think, I thought that was, uh, we were, yeah. Oh, a hearing on the plan? Yeah, we, we were on your agenda. This was a sort of preliminary briefing to get your input and to make changes in the plan before we went out to inform the public about it and seek approval at the annual town meeting. If we are, in effect, deferring the hearing, we wouldn't need an article on an annual town meeting warrant to approve the capital plan. You see what I mean? In other words, if we're deferring a number of the uh, article requests, capital article only that we're talking about here to a fall special town meeting. Probably the time to do a hearing on the capital plan would be prior to that special yeah. town meeting. Right. Yes. That gives us a yeah. time to go back to the drawing board, mm -hmm. incorporate the wish list or not, uh, and to have a conversation with the Board of Selectmen and the advisory committee again. Mm -hmm. Uh, to go back through that process again and, and really be in good shape for a fall town meeting. You could probably mm -hmm. even do say a hearing during a part of our um, selectmen's meeting. That was what we had thought we would do next time, but there's no, I, I don't think we're not ready. Makes sense oh, I know you're not ready. You do it before yeah. the special. Yes. Yeah. Fall. That would be a yeah. good idea. Yeah. 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 And it might behoove us if this is going to become an unusual procedure to defer many capital articles to the fall. We might want to look at the timeline when you actually need the updated capital plan or not. I think, and you can correct me if, if you don't concur, but the, the impression I'm getting is that we're going to have a better process in place for the reconciliation, which is what held up our Schedule A and what has historically kept us from filing our free cash when the state says to file free cash, which is basically around the same time that you file for your tax rate. Uh, so, so well, it would be filed for in the fall, but it would be a year, in essence, almost basically pulling forward our numbers about six months from when we have historically gotten them. So we would be back on a cycle of what the intent of the, the plan was, which is for it to come out with each annual town meeting. Why don't we treat this as a, 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 an annual deadline that you give us for when you think you're going to be ready for recommendations on the capital plan. I know when all the reconciliation's all done and everything's all set, um, that the firm that a town accountant hired is going to come in and spend um, a good Appreciate amount of time you. with the treasurer and the collector and the accountant again to go over to get everybody up to speed on where they should be. And then um, he had also talked to our auditor, it's Tom Scanlon, and he said that he would come in and do an audit after everything's been reconciled. We did get a, a big vote of approval from Mr. Scanlon uh, from uh, Keith Arsenal. Oh yeah, he's been he's been doing us for quite a few years now. Uh, and, uh, they do a very good job. Yeah. Uh, we'll 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 make a recommendation, or we'll talk to you about when next year when you want your plan. Okay. okay. Thank All you. Right. For thank coming. you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Next one. I'll, uh, even if it's just manual notes, I'll, I'll scan it and shoot it over to you. Okay, the next one we're going to move on to is to sign the police station note. Uh, and it's a result of uh, we have a new interest rate of 1.9%, and that is the East Hampton Savings Bank. And uh, so I'd like to have uh, motion to sign. Motion to sign. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.
and I think it requires all three signatures. Yep, it requires all three signatures. Means and out. Oh, okay. This is uh, the next grant cycle. I'm going to ask for it to be matched. Yep, yep, yep. Now, we're going to go on. The next one is some vacation carryovers. We have three requests for to carry over vacation time into FY19. We have from uh, Donald Herbert. Uh, he would like to carry it on. Uh, let's see. The balance, I don't know how many days he has, but the balance of his vacation time into FY19. And then also we have um, Herb would like to carry 10 days over into FY19 also. Motion to approve. Second. Oh, and also, okay, and Mike Duvall would like to also do that. So it's I would included. like a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. Um, in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. This is from her, uh, Cindy wrote it. She says uh, it's called a highway truck request. Herb would like to know if he has permission to send the 206 Ford in for repairs. And he has the quote attached. His intent is to pay for the repairs from the fleet repair replacement account. Without these repairs, the truck might not pass inspection in the fall. Because we're going to do it. So yeah, I, I, has, I reviewed those on Sunday, and they look. Um, Consistent with trying to get a vehicle, an older vehicle through inspection. Yeah, it's, it's uh, seven thousand eight hundred and one dollars. Yep. I'll make a motion to support the request okay. for payment on that. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. The next one is uh, from the police department. Uh, Holly Chisholm had wrote this up because she's their administrative assistant. She wasn't sure at first. She said municipal, then she backed off a bit and said. Just uh, declare it surplus. She wasn't. She wasn't sure how they wanted to get rid of it, so they they hadn't decided yet. So if you declare it surplus, then we offer it to the other departments, and then they can oh, choose okay. to get rid of it. Because at first they wanted to put it on municipal. Then she changed. She wasn't sure about that, so she just wants it declared surplus. Okay, so we have to take a vote on still. Mo motion to declare it surplus. Surplus. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, I, I would like to make a separate additional motion, though, is if they're going to choose to dispose of it outside of the town, that they at least consult prior to doing so um, regarding the, the method of disposal. Oh, well, for, well, it wouldn't go out of town on surplus. It would stay here in town on the surplus. It would be offered to any other department yes. here. Right. I, I, I understand that. I'm just, I just want to make sure we're specifying that. 
not to dispose of it in a method other than municipal unless oh. if it's going to go outside the town. Oh. Yeah, well, yes. yeah, that, yes. that's appropriate. Yeah, that's a yeah it would be municipal for work. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. I mean, that's our intent. Is oh, okay. well, surplus gonna... first and municipal if that doesn't work. Okay, we're going to skip over uh, seven. Okay, now we're going to go on. We have some special use permits. And these are more for the way to get. Yeah, are you adding them up? No, I stopped. We're over a thousand, oh, so people should okay. really appreciate this, the, the numbers of people that are here. We did put up the, the uh, kayak map uh, kiosk at the boat ramp the other day, and the fishermen were very busy doing their bass thing. Yeah. Which one's that? At Sorry. the Quay, so, no, oh, at Quay Bar. Oh, I'll have we to put, go down and see. Yeah, he was going to go put the signs back up uh, this week. So. All right, this one is for 7-21-2018 for South Pond from the TM Fishing. That's one. And uh, just the same one. And then this is another one for 9-30-2018 for Quaybog Pond from the Pioneer Valley Bass Club. And that's it. Motion to approve the two. I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, an appointment. We had a letter here from Jeremy Higg. He lives on 9 Green Street. Uh, he would like to submit a letter to request to become a member of the Brookfield Recreation Committee. He says, for several years I have volunteered as a softball coach and t-ball coach. I participate in many community programs. I would appreciate the opportunity to further assist our community by serving on the Brookfield Recreation Committee. I'd like to make a motion to... Uh, you have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And, and, and then he will be uh, appointed until the end of June, and then he'll just have to be reappointed again. Like they didn't want to wait until he was appointed. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they wanted to now, get him now. And they had a, right, they had an excellent meeting, and other people are interested, so it's all good. One question, I don't know if either one of you know, uh, they're holding, uh, they're not using my, uh, to Lewis Field for soccer um, practices and things. They're having to go down to Brimfield. Yeah, they're letting it rest. Oh, they're letting it rest. Okay. Yeah. So I had a couple of questions. I had a couple yeah. of No, they were, let, they were letting it rest. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Now we're going to take, instead of, we're going to take 11 before we do 10. Okay. Okay, I would like to open um, the town meeting warrant and to close it to put on a, um, an article from the planning board and it's on uh, a temporary moratorium on recreational marijuana establishments. You have that motion? I'll second. Okay, and I'd like to have the motion that we put this on uh, the town meeting warrant. You have that motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, and I'd like now a motion to recall it. Well, uh, Unless okay, we get something uh, else. Wait, these, there's we more. Need, there, oh, there are more? Yeah. yeah, we have a bunch of... These are the ones that came in late. There was a... Oh, yeah, you have them off. Oh, I didn't know that they... Yep, they're all oh, the yeah. these are some other ones, too. Yeah. Oh, that's the same one here. Yeah. Sharon. Yeah. Okay, now this is another one. It's on... Uh, we'll discuss it after, but it's from... must be from the bylaw committee. It says who it is if you keep reading. No, it doesn't say, but I'm... No, it doesn't say, Karen, from who? Bylaw Committee. Bylaw, that's what I figured, yeah. So, this is one from the Bylaw Committee, so if we want to put that, we'll discuss that when we get involved. Do you know that? Uh, I probably have it yeah. over here in this. Yeah, that's from the Bylaw Committee. So this is... Right. Yeah, that's the path. So, do we want to take separate motions for each one of these? To I think we do. I think we yeah. did probably. Yeah, and well, then we can discuss them once you know we come to them. So, okay. So this, is, this, is this was Sharon's, and we're all set. Okay, we're right? all set with Sharon. So let's say that that's all set. Okay, all right. Sharon's is all set. 
So now. Now we have another one from the bylaw committee. Yeah, and it's to add to section 17, chapter what, 10 yeah. of the uh, town bylaws. And I brought the bylaw book in in case we need to uh, look and see if they want to make the changes. And then this is another one from. Uh, it's a petition. This is a petition. Yeah. A citizen's petition. This one is, yeah, this one is for some street lights. Okay. And then this is another one. Okay, that is, now, that, if you read at the top, Cindy wrote that note. Yeah. She didn't think it was necessary. Yeah. However, Mr. Cook is adamant that he wanted you folks to consider it. Okay, well, we'll look so, and see. Yeah. It's your decision. So, I'm, okay, so, I'm well, confused. So, we can look it up because, like, I have the bylaw book in here, so we can see. Let's see what this is. I know that they. Well, it's in there, I think. It's, it's in there, there. and I really don't know yeah. what the change. We'll have to see what the change is that Mr. Cook. He, he should have put. Mr. Well, Mr. Cook, what he told me is that it was. It's at the uh, the discretion of the highway superintendent because there's a range of prices for the highway for the uh, driveway, yeah, and he said he didn't want it to be a range of prices, he wanted it to be, I guess, more uniform or specific. But, as I you thought, see, Cindy said there's already a policy in yeah, place. Yeah, there is, there's a policy in place for this, because I remember we talked about it before yeah. and passed it. So, now this is, do we refer this back to the bylaw committee, or is this citizen petition? No, no, this is the bylaw committee. All right, so what we have is to refer this back to the bylaw committee, given yeah. that the highway superintendent. Yeah, they already have one. He already knows yeah. that. He already knows that. But he wants okay. it on. Doesn't, doesn't want, it. and that's why, you know, we thought, well, okay, then we don't even submit it. But he was adamant he wanted that submitted. That's why it's here. Well, then we'll just take it to town meeting and have. The highway superintendent explained the policy. That's what we'll do. We'll put it on. Yeah. Okay. And then the next one. Okay, so do we need to make a motion then to place it? Are you going to make the motion? Yeah, we'll make it. You'll, we'll, yeah, I'd like to. Uh, you have a motion to place. Motion the, to place. It. This um, is the, uh, relates to the uh, curb cuts. Curb cuts. Uh, I'll second it for discussion. Okay. Um, I, I think. We need to be careful that we don't fall on either side of a particular line. Uh, one of them is that historically we've been bad about consulting um, the uh, appropriate committees prior to placing stuff on the warrant. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I think that it's important to consider when a committee doesn't consider the affected department mm -hmm. when they're recommending to place something on the warrant, even if they had had a discussion and there was non-concurrence. So, I mean, and, and we're welcome to vote this, but I'll, I'll just let you know my vote's no you know, to not place it until it's at least had the opportunity to have the discussion with the department head. Well, I think they've had the discussion. In this particular case, yeah. it appears that they've had the discussion. At he told me heads. that actually, he told me that Herb was at the meeting when they, at the bylaw committee meeting, I assume when they talked about that, he said Herb was present and was not happy. That was uh, Mr. Cook's world. So the yeah. highway department is opposed to that. The bylaw committee insists they want you to at least review it. That's right. the bottom line. Right. Right. We, can, we can look and see, like, we'll put it on. And my position with okay. this is we put it on. Yeah. Um, and, and what we're going to do is, I, my vote is that we, we refer to the department head and his recommendation, mm -hmm. and that's to not pass it. Yeah. Well, that's true because it's sponsored by the bylaw committee. Right. Sponsored okay, by the bylaw. good yeah. point. Okay. So let's let's go ahead and place it. Uh, I'll, okay. I'll vote yay in that instance with the yeah, understanding. Yeah. That now, is this? Do we want to bring this one up tonight? Mm -hmm. This is the other one from Sharon. No, we want to wait. Place, wait. Placeholder. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna yes. Placeholder. Yeah. Okay. And then, did you? Mm -hmm. uh, I think did Mike discuss that we could reopen it again? Uh, well, to put that I on. think she plans on having it done by the 15th, which is your next meeting. That would give you enough time. I think okay. that's what it was, yeah. Okay. Okay, so. So a motion to put okay. the placeholder for planning board in. I'll second the motion. Uh, 
Okay, well, you should have done the 50. Okay. You can do open and close it again, but just use it as a placeholder then. then okay. Well, do we, do we have text? Could we place it and then pull it if it's not approved by the planning board? I think we need to at least cover for the sake of, of do we transparency. Do you want us to put it on tonight, Karen, uh, Sharon, and then we could always pull it? Um, we're waiting for town council to um, vet the wording of it. Um, so. Well, it's just got to go in the stack. The more it's going to be typed. Right, and it's and it's going to be and it's going to get vetted a second time. So. Right. So I. So I, I think that the I think we could place it and with yeah. with the understanding that there there may be some edits forthcoming from town council. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what's the what's the verbiage that we're we're looking at for that? It's on this. Do you have it? I don't, ha I don't really have the verbiage because I oh, thought she was going to be on the screen. I think she's got. I know. But it's just. Let's see if she's got a little bit. I do have something on the computer right now. Let's go pull it if you want. It's regarding solar. Yeah. Okay. This is about all, but basically not. And I'll go pull it, which she sent me. Okay. Even though it's not, it's not complete, but if you want to keep that placeholder. Can we take a recess for a minute? Yep. Karen does that. We're taking a recess. Okay.